my GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 513. Here we'll be looking at the way in which recombinant DNA is transferred into other cells. This is 513b. In 513a we saw the formation of these structures here which is recombinant DNA. This is a mixture of here the human gene and here the bacterial plasmid. Now it is necessary to transfer this structure into the host cell. In this instance we'll use the virus which is here and inside the virus is the nucleic acid such as DNA or RNA and around this is the protein shell. So the first thing we have to do is we have to remove the nucleic acid from the virus. So really we just want the capsid protein shell. The plasmids are taken up by the virus to form this structure here and the virus is going to act as a vector of our recombinant DNA and it's going to help us to transfer that DNA into our host cell. The reason why we have chosen bacteria, uh, the virus is that this type of virus here is known as a phage and what it does is infects bacterial cells. The virus is able to attach to the cell membrane of the bacteria and insert the recombinant DNA into our host cell. At the end of this process we have a bacterial cell which ha now contains the recombinant DNA including the human gene for insulin. In 514, we will explore the production of insulin. Notice that this organism here, the bacteria, has its own DNA. This is the normal DNA of the bacteria, plus DNA from another organism. This combination is known as transgenic and you can find about more about that in 516.